Peter Chow here. Welcome to yet another edition of Peter Chow's Weekly Lose Roundup Movie Edition. Let's get to it. Out this weekend is a movie called Transcendent, which I decided to go watch not because it looked good, but because I had already seen Cap 2 and was certainly not going to see the motherfucking birds be the asshole in Rio 2. Transcendent is an ambitious movie, and no matter what you think of the movie, it's refreshed to see Johnny Depp not as a smelly pirate or essentially a smelly pirate pirate with a dead bird on his head. Instead, we have Johnny actually Lormo in a movie. At least for the first quarter of the movie anyway, until he turned into an annoying invasive big ass computer that says shit like, I can feel your heart palpitating. I can tell by the fluidity in your diaphragm that you are not feeling too good. Talk about tearing Siri to mind her fucking business. Siri, what should I do today? I don't know. But I can feel your heart palpitate. What? Your heart is beating fast. Are you horny? No, I'm I'm fine. Would you like me to pull up the porno? No. Come on, go fuck yourself. Excuse me? I mean, don't get me wrong, Transcendence asked the interesting question about technomorology and whether it's headed into a dangerous territory that could potentially wipe out humanity. Unfortunately, this movie is somewhat laborious and dull, and in some way, it feels incomplete. The biggest problem I have with the movie is the big reveal. I mean, we have been spending two hours of our time with this movie to see whether it is actually Johnny Depp's character as the computer or is it just a robotic representation of what he used to be? And when it is revealed, it falls flat like the way my face would fall into a series vagina. One big sprat. I mean, I don't regret watching it, and it certainly isn't bad considering it is the first time from director Wally Feaster. That's right, I said Feaster. The man who DP'd all the new Batman movies. I mean, I certainly don't feel as if Mr. Feaster took my money by feasting my ass because watching Rio 2 would be like paying a bird to shit on my face. I give Transcendence two fly lice bows out of four fly lice bows. Let me know if Transcendence is a movie that you're on your way to watch right now or whether you have watched it already or whether you plan to watch it this week or next week or what happened. You. If you do watch it and when you get around to watch it, I would love to hear your thoughts. So make sure to share it with me in the underpenny section below or on my Twitter at PyroBooby. Speaking of at PyroBooby, my Twitter handle Paul Heyman kindly retweeted the very first in the return of many episodes of the Weekly Lose Roundup last week. So I just want to say Paul. Thank you very much. And to show my love and support for Paul, I'm going to get you guys to buy the Paul Heyman t-shirt. Head over to bit.ly slash Heyman shirt or look for it on wweshop.com. Speaking of shirts, of course, get the new theme song love shirt. That's right, the one I'm rocking right now and the one you see right there. Bit.ly slash team some love and then head over to shadysluts.com to get your pair of shades. Use the offer code Pyroboob, that's P-Y-R-O-O-B-O-O-B-S to get $10 off. That's it for this week's Weekly Lose Roundup Movie Edition. What movie did you see this week and what did you think about it? Let me know in the underpenny section below or on Twitter at Pyroboobie. Until next time, boom, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends if you have any, and stop drinking the haterade and start drinking the bubble tea. Ciao, oh, son, motherfucker. People message me all the time saying, you know, what's the size of your date? Do you get that? No. Is Facebook the new way to ask people out on a date? People have a lot less problem asking for somebody's Facebook. You can actually find it yourself by plugging up somebody's name. That's the creepy part. Have you picked up a mother bitch on Facebook before? Have I picked up a mother a bitch? A mother bitch.